everyone, welcome back. It's Mr. Jane. Uh, I started a vlog series with uh, Santosh, known as Limitless underscore SJP. He's got a channel called Horsepower Cartel. We're gonna start uh, doing these every couple weeks where we talk about the latest in car news. We're gonna make it short, like five to seven minutes. Hopefully you like it. Uh, what follows is the very first episode that we did in his M5. And hopefully you enjoy it and uh, let me know. Anyways, take care, enjoy the clip and See you next time. Welcome yeah. to Cartel News. This is Mr. Jane. And it's your boy Santosh. It's Santosh. a new segment on Horsepower Cartel. And it's called Cartel News. And Cartel. Cartel News, get it? Uh -huh. We're telling you news about the car industry. <laughs> Damn, dude, we are smart. Smart, like that. man. Shit. First up is the C8 Corvette. Dude, that car is amazing. It's pretty cool that they went with a mid-engine, you know, rear-wheel drive, obviously. He said no for manual transmissions. They're going yep. straight for DCT, eight-speed DCT. So I guess this eight this speed dual clutch. This this transmission is specially made for Chevrolets. What do what do you think about no manual anymore? I'm a big fan of the dual clutch. Uh, yeah, obviously with gearbox, technology. But what I really like is the price. 60k base price. Yeah, they're saying around like every 56, Maserati 000. would love that car at 60k <laughs> because you know what? It's a poor man's Ferrari, and I can it tell is. you every magazine cover coming up now whether it's motor train car and driver road and track we'll say it's the ferrari killer and it looks like a ferrari killer it looks kind of like a ferrari it too. Does. like if, if someone showed me this like five six years ago i would really think this is like a ferrari or something yeah me and you would probably say okay not nah, but i would say 90 percent of the people would be like oh that's a ferrari because it looks very ferrari like yeah great specs 495 and, uh, horsepower 495 Zero to 60, under three seconds. Under With the Z51 seconds. package, yes, it gives it the sports three. exhaust Which and some kind crazy. of tune. It's under three seconds. That's, yeah. pretty, that's pretty crazy. C8, amazing car. Price point, super. I think it'll do well. And if you go to YouTube today, you'll see nothing but guys talking about getting their C8 spec. Yeah, I, I watched a review, or not a review, but a walk around with Jay Leno. And it's pretty informative. Um, yeah. You can check good. that out. Yeah. It's pretty good. It really... Uh, got me some knowledge and up to speed with that car yeah so. do you think it would be a good car in india like what, what do you think would be like say Sh chevrolet obviously is not in india anymore but boom they come back just launch this one car how much would you pay for this car because obviously fifty five thousand dollars is about what 35 lakhs let's say 30 lakhs 35 lakhs right. whatever but with the duty and everything you're looking at about let's say 70 lakhs so if, if you um, get a 70 yeah. lakhs x showroom yeah what do you what, what do you think? That'll be a pretty good deal, right? So I think at that price point, it'll do really well, and it's a great car. I think for India, because honestly, you're not spending that much money, you get great performance. Yeah. And let's be realistic, that kind of performance you'll very rarely get to use. Suzuki recently launched this little SUV type of thing. It's called the Jimny. You've probably seen it before. I saw it. So um, in fact, when you told me, I thought it was Jimmy. Yeah, so, I thought it was Jimmy. So too. I was trying to search. I'm like, I just can't find this goddamn thing. Then I finally found something, and it's Jimny with an N. Yeah, and why? Yeah, and why? Yeah, it's a pretty cool car. You seen it? You saw the video Carwell put up. It was keeping up with the G wagon and the off road trail. Everything. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, power wise. And can you wise. imagine that is fifteen thousand pounds the Jimny versus one hundred fifty thousand for the G sixty three? Yeah. Of course, G sixty three has way more tech, way more obviously luxury quotient. But if you're talking about from an SUV perspective, it nailed it. The Jimny. It nailed it. I would love, honestly, I would love to see it come to this country. And I think they should really, if it was like a semi knockdown version or a complete knockdown, you know, CKD, yeah. it'll lower the prices on it. But it's a Suzuki, right? It's a so Suzuki. Very much so, that's where, you know, very much you could kind of say, hey, we're going to be Possibly, this in. yeah. I think it's a great car, a great SUV at that price point. Looks, and you know, the thing is, it looks nice. Yeah, that's it looks if nice. You, if you compare it to like, it looks like a baby G. Yeah. Like, I couldn't tell the difference apart when it was going through the puddles and stuff in the video. Yeah. What's next? Mo Vlogs. Mo Vlogs. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. All right, so supposedly. So you sent it to me, and the thing is, I've got a thing against Mo Vlogs. I what, find his wrong? content is okay. He used to do more really amazing car stuff. Yeah. He hasn't done it lately. But, anyways, the video is him taking delivery of his Devo, which he starts out saying, it's my Bugatti Devo. Okay. And, and? Uh, there's only, I guess, only 40 in the world that's right. ever gonna be produced, right? Yeah, so he's like, yeah, I'm taking delivery of my Devo, blah, blah. Then the truck shows up and he's like, by the way, this is not my Devo, I was lying. He, then he's like, oh, it's my uh, friend's car. I can't mention his name, he's a high profile guy, you know, and in order to get this car, you have to already own a Chiron, which I always, yeah. which obviously he doesn't own. And then he's like, yeah, I'm taking delivery for him. Then you see this 
crappy. I swear, I've seen better tow trucks in India. You know, like yeah. wow, that's saying a it's, lot. It's, it's horrible. I yeah. mean, especially like a Bugatti if it's coming in. That's the thing about him. He's always doing you know clickbait. I just hate clickbait's that. an understatement, man. So, anyways, so he gets the car delivered. Yeah, and they don't even show the truck opening up the door or whatever. Nothing. Straight cutscene to uh, the car inside his house magically. Oh, okay. And I swear to you, they have a Huracan and they have a 458 parked next to each other with the Devo in between. Okay. And believe it or not, it's CGI. It's completely fake. It's edited and it's a really good hell of a edit wow, job. Wow, really? And yeah, man. You can see like Lana standing on one side, he's yeah. standing on one side, apart, far away, because obviously they don't want to give the editor too, too much of a hassle. Right, right. There's no reflections of the, any other cars on the Diva or vice versa. Like, you completely could tell it's fake, you know? Come on. Another thing, RSM, Ranjit Sundamurthy, he picked up the new Bentley Continental GT. Yeah. I, I think that car is such a bang for your buck. That looks so it look, beautiful. It's so beautiful. The taillights. Yeah. It's voluptuous. It's yeah, it looks really good. No, he's putting up a lot of content of that car, and it yeah. does look pretty good. I haven't seen anyone to buy one yet. Has it been launched over there? It hasn't been launched here, but I saw that same car when I was in uh, Berlin about a month ago. Oh, yeah. It was trying. on the streets. Oh, my God. It looks so good. My wife is not a car person, but she saw that car, and she was like, wow. Yeah. That looks amazing. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, it's pretty. It looks It looks amazing in person. Like, I was, like, I was like enamored by it. And then seeing all that content, and he's kind of showing all the different gadgets that happen in the car, how the screen rotates, yeah. all that stuff. I guess that's probably pretty uh, Bentley-like for all the cars. All right, so top three. So the, you got a new garage, Damn. you got a, you got to stock it with three cars. That's what tough. would it be? Yeah, it's of course it's tough. That is really tough. All right, I gotta say, how about, how about you go first? All right, so for me, and I've said this many times, very simple, number one would be an E63S sedan. Okay. New one, okay. love it. Stock? It, stock, it's sleeper. You take off, and I would take off all the badges. I know there's a thing in India where they want to put the AMG badges on fake cars. Yeah. I would take off all the badging so you wouldn't even know it's an AMG. Okay. That's number Why one. Just throw an E250 badge on yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really going crazy. Yeah, say so it's an E52D. <laughs> E250D. Really screw with some people. Yeah. Number one would be the E63S. Number two would be a 911, the new 992. Which one? I like the Carrera 4S. Quite okay. nice. Not a turbo? Turbo, yeah. Because the new ones are not out naturally. They're not out, yeah, and they're not out yet. I'm sure they'll look great, though. But I'm yeah. just looking at I never really like the look of the turbo. I just like the base Carrera. It looks okay. nice. Very understated. That's number yeah. two. And number three, Ferrari Portofino. I know. Portofino? I know. Really? I know. I know. Wow. I'm a girl. What can I say? Yeah. Portofino? I know. I know. No, but I, I want to know why you picked the Portofino. Because I just think that's such a great car. I like the, the drop top of it. I mean, yeah, the 488, the 458 are amazing, but I don't know, I just love the Portofino. I think it looks great. Ah. Okay, then. Yeah, I know. I've just probably alienated the entire audience. I don't think we can do They're this like, again, yeah, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Manish, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to the about. first and the last yeah. episode of Cartel News. We're done. <laughs> we're done. This guy, Manish, uh, we're going to make sure we get a takedown notice for his YouTube channel. He doesn't know <laughs> shit about cars. No, but the... There must be a really strong reason. No, I just think you, it got, looks you great. got some time in it, right? Yeah, I've, so that's the thing. I've spent time in all those cars: the 488, the 458. You know, uh, even uh, what is the GTC4 Lusso? First of all, the name GTC4 Lusso is sounds pretty. It's just like a tongue twister. Like, yeah. come on, man, make it simple. And but the Portofino, I just think it, it's really nice on the inside. It's almost something you can make it into a daily driver. That's the thing. The I other thought you cars, would daily drive the Porsche. Yeah, so that also. So all the three cars I mentioned are pretty standard daily drivers. Wow, my list is like day and night compared to yours. Yeah, would it be like a Devo? No. Okay. Believe all right. it or not. Go. Let's all right, you ready? Got. Yeah. You guys ready? And I would honestly choose R34 GTR. Really? In a special spec. I have the spec I have cool. to decide which one. You know, they have a few specs in those. But um, they even have one version which is like 500 some horsepower. That's probably the one I would choose. But R34 wow. GTR. Wow, okay. Ferrari F40. Okay. And uh, my daily practical, daily practical. driver. Yeah. Daily, dri daily driver. I would say the Urus. Urus, yeah, makes sense. I like it. They look really cool. You get they these sick body good. kits you can yeah, get on yeah. them now. Like, yeah. they look they look pretty, and they're pretty quick, too, man. Obviously. Man. And, and plus, I could tow my F40 with it to the track. Of course. Makes sense. Yeah, and my M5 as well, when, when it breaks down, you know? 
So you, bought, <laughs> you, so you, need a, yeah, you need a trailer for the M5. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that new segment of Hartel News on our channel. Manish is here and me, obviously. We're going to be looking at your feedback. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of this whole new... Uh, New format of us just kind of yapping about cars. Cars and stuff. We're trying to keep it to like, and, you know, uh, five to seven minutes. Yeah. And uh, let us know what you think. We'll see you guys soon, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Till the next time.